I never really understood how like what other women or like people who you know dress up or like do their hairs and stuff like how they time everything because like I have I don't even remember what step of my like morning face routine I'm on like my hair is so flat right now too and like I have to do my hair and like what order do people do their makeup in and I'm only curling the ends of my hair today so that's not gonna take that long but like between curls like I'm also like putting on my face you know but I don't think I will be able to multitask that today but that looks really good and like my bathroom is too cluttered today or every day but like my counter is too cluttered today for me to put this wand down which is kind of bad I guess I could just push everything on the left side away the um So like the, what's stuck on my arm? Like I have to turn off the air conditioning. I hate using air conditioning. It drives me up. But like, I've discovered multiple, of course, but like one of the main most prevalent things is like, I can do face makeup and I can see myself in the mirror without having to put all my contacts on. Put all my contacts on, that's a double positive or redundant without having to put my contacts in and I can also see um <clears throat> sunscreen kind of like I don't have to worry about drawing um eyeliner onto my contacts or getting eyeshadow on my contacts because like I am a crybaby person and I am a t-zone greasy person so like I have to use waterproof no wait if I'm greasy, I shouldn't be using waterproof, but I'm a crybaby, so I have to use waterproof. So that's maybe why my makeup doesn't stay on. I have to use waterproof like eye makeup so that it um <laughs> it doesn't come off. But like before I got my eyes fixed, before I got my eye surgery, I couldn't really see my eyes in the mirror. Um so I had to like sometimes I'll put my contacts on while I before I do my mascara or my eyeliner. And then I end up drawing on my contacts, and then that black smudge is not removable. What are you gonna do? Use makeup remover or like rub your contact? Like, no, you're gonna rip it, you're gonna ruin it. So, like, I'd have to do it blind and like just put my face up to the mirror or use like a magnifying mirror that my mom has. And like, that doesn't make any sense to me how other people do it. Like, how are people doing their eye makeup and stuff, you know? And what do you do on days where you're like sweating and you're trying to do your hair because like oh i don't want that to follow me like because you don't want like i'm gonna sweat it off it's gonna go straight <sighs> okay what's the first step primer yes i need to buy a new one i'm still using the smashbox photo finish pretty sure i got this in college also i've gotten into a habit of putting things on the back of my hand instead of directly on my face just in case it comes out like kind of greasy or like you know separated layers or like um also like moisturizer for your hands you know it's fine i have sweat on my forehead already Woo! like how do people do this maybe i'm just trying to multitask and like usual you know clerical things multitask is easy but uh Getting ready is multitasking is not easy and that's not the way to go. I think I'm just trying to like bash it out, you know? And I've been using this uh um hair, they call she calls it a leave-in potion by uh the actress who is currently getting cancelled, but you know, she's famous from being on um, Gossip Girl. Um and I find that it's very similar to the way um leave-in conditioner oh burning my hands and it does 
very similar things so far and I've only used it for about a week I think and that's, that's not gonna work I'm gonna burn my legs <laughs> I can see it falling towards me um, it smells good I was worried that because her her flavor her scent notes had like bergamot and other things I'm not a fan of like woodsy or like m manly smells but um so far it's fine so like what order do people put on their eye makeup? Do you do eyeliner first and then eyeshadow, or eyeshadow first and then eyeliner? So today, I'm gonna try and experiment. One eye, I'm doing my eyeliner first. And I'm loving this like ColourPop, uh, what's it called? Multi-chrome shift? Multi-chrome? This eyeliner, and it's the cream one that like glides on super easily. Like, that barely took me any time. Um, because it's the same as the Holo Taco colors. It, this one's like the purple, purple green one. And I did see, like, hold your, keep your eye closed to let it, like, dry. Because it comes out creamy and you want it to, like, solidify a little bit before you open your eyes. And since I've, I got double Asian double eyelids, like, you know, I've got to, um... It gets lost in my crease as soon as I open my eyes and greasy eyes and I just I did just put on like the Anastasia eye primer I well hot hot eyeshadow primer Oof. who doesn't burn up when they're doing this like seriously my hand hurts it's hot straight that one's very straight <laughs> it looks fine nobody looks at the back of their own heads so like I'm on team I don't care what the back of my head looks like <laughs> I might do a different color this one's a bit um skin colory oh no that's fine so one thing I don't understand and I have trouble comprehending is blending and the concept of blending. I know what that word means. I don't understand how to do it because if you blend it, it disappears, right? Like it transfer onto whatever you're using to blend. And then if you don't blend, it's like thick and cakey, you know, and like I always apply that eye like a little bit too much and I don't know where to stop applying like how high up do I go I'm not a makeup girl I don't I don't understand when people say things I'm like what do you mean do this and do that I'm like what do you mean what are you talking about that's already like a um difference in how I look like eyeliner eye normal eye you know I should switch hands. I put my uh, nails on on Thursday night, and one of them feels one of them on each of the fingers feels loose, but like it's not falling off and it's not like cracking. Because usually, if it's loose, you can hear like the cracking sound if you press on it, which means like the contact of the glue is um. <gasps> Oof. Just witness me burn my forehead. It's squeaking. Is my hair supposed to squeak like that? I think I need new gloves. I'm pretty sure I got these on Amazon like 10 years ago. I don't think my hair is supposed to smoke. Let's take that out. <laughs> this uh, I got this from TJ Maxx when I got to college or my mom bought it with me it has three ones that you can change out I'm using the large one right now and it has on or off there's no temperature settings usually typically I do like the second lowest one because the lowest one's not like hot enough for me because I have like super straight hair what, what am I doing with my life today oh the other eye
See, I already see the eyeshadow on my left eye. That's like pretty much almost gone. Like I already sweated it off. Concealer. <laughs> I have to tell myself what I have to do next. Mm, which way do we turn? This way. I'm thinking of wearing my Sad Clouds cardigan with a mustard yellow Uniqlo shirt. It's a high neck sleeveless shirt. God, I'm so scared. That's fine. Concealer, just set it. Got these under eyes. I have a headache. Haven't eaten. Hadn't had a morning drink. All I had today was water, which is fine. It's 11.30. So I saw a thing online where if it's natural or it's not you could try just doing like this half circle right here in your concealer and it's supposed to off balance the colors of your darkness it's supposed to like erase the shadows and i put too much so that's the method i'm going with instead of like the upside down triangle super obvious when girls just have this like light area under their eyes like isn't that just unblended concealer like that's not like this bright zone like we know that's not natural right like we know that's concealer right so like for me that it's not a look that i in, like like i'm not saying like i don't like i don't it's like it's other people i don't care about other people but like it's not a look that i like on myself and like for me, it's like, wow, that is so obvious. You have concealer on today, you know? Okay, last one. Oh, switch hands. do other makeup I've been trying my um brown mascara um it doesn't it's not brown enough all the ones I found um I mean I did go to like Target which is like a drugstore so all the stuff there all the brown mascara there are like what do you call um dark brown they're like true brown dark brown or something like that This is the part where I'm like, my eyes are fixed, now I can do this. Also like, my eyelashes aren't very long because I have like, pretty generic traditionally Asian lashes. Right, so like, it's hard to catch it. Oh, and this Ico London one is black, it's not brown. I tried looking at their website, I think they had one brown, but it wasn't, um, waterproof. And I find, what I find very interesting about the waterproof um, makeup that I've tried is that one, yes, they're waterproof, but two, no, they're not smudge proof. So like if I rub my eyes, they kind of raccoon, but um, if I take a shower, they don't go anywhere, you know? And then here's the brown one. Oh. Is it even dry yet? How long does it take for mascara to dry on your face? <laughs> I'm like so not a makeup girly. And then, what is the color I used the other day that stayed all day? This one. Okay. 
So I noticed that um no I noticed it's very obvious that my um the pimples on my face have gone away. So that one that one's new. I I dug it out with my fingernail, which you're not supposed to do. And I discovered it's because it was the vitamin D um pills that I was taking. The the capsules were um in the gel capsules, the little gel ones, like like a vitamin E, like or fish oil that like your mom takes. So I was taking those, and the second I started taking vitamin D, I immediately started feeling better. Um, like, I don't go out much, and like, getting sun and vitamin D is really good, important for your chemicals and your moods and all that stuff. And I was taking it, and it made me feel really, really good. But I was breaking out super bad for the last, I want to say, five, six months. Um, and then in July, one of my friends said that she is, her skin is sensitive, she's not allergic, her skin is sensitive to gel capsules um, and it makes her break out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if that's my reason? Because I've been breaking out really bad for a few months and it could coincide with when I started taking vitamin D, you know? So I stopped taking it for like two, three weeks and my skin cleared up. And I was like, my skin has cleared up, I'm good now, like my period's over, it's not hormonal, whatever I have right now. So I took one, next day, clusters all over my face. Like that cluster is still a remnant from that, from like the end of July. And then, um, I also have one like right here. It looks like a cold sore, but it's not. And then, um, I was like, I cannot anymore. I cannot do that. And then I switched, I took, I stopped taking it. And then like, I immediately went to the store the next day and bought a, um, the tablet ones. And then I went to Hawaii, so I'm like, I'm not taking any vitamin D right now because I'm like, I'm darker than my natural skin right now. You might not be able to tell, but I can tell. See, I just got it on my eyelids. I'm not good at this. Now I just closed my eyes too hard and now it's on my bottom. <laughs> I'm messy. Like, what do people do? Help, I need a girl. Or I need a makeup artist. They're not all girls. That's fine, right? Yeah, I couldn't do like red lipstick while I was breaking out really bad because um, it was making the red on my pimples like stand out more. And I don't want that. Nobody wants that. Where's my brown brush? Literally. I don't know where all my brushes are. Might be on the floor. Let's go find out. Yeah, all the makeup that I brought to Hawaii are still on the floor. Everything has packaging, so. Unless mites or dusts, not dust, or bugs crawled into the packaging. I'm not worried about things being on the floor. My sister hates when I use powder. She's like, it makes you look like a vampire. And I was like, I'm a sweaty, greasy person. I need to. Mm -hmm. I don't do blush. Should I do blush? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. There's too much red on my face already. I need, I need a professional. I need assistance. So this is the outfit I'm going with. Um, oh, we're going to Anime Impulse at um, Anaheim Convention Center today. It's August 31st. Um, this mustard, it's like dark mustard yellow. No, I've seen darker mustard. Uh, Uniqlo pink and then my sad. Yeah, and then I have to figure out like, oh, this makes me look fat. Do cardigans make anyone else feel fat? Like I feel like I look fat in this. We better wear it like this. I don't know. It just makes me look fat. It's got sadness. Now I have to figure out what shorts to wear. <sighs> That's it. Bye.